So here, we are going to do what? Y equal to what? Cot inverse of what? X. Cot inverse of X is simple. So to find this, just multiply both sides. Do something like creativity. And the creativity here is what? Just multiply both sides by what? By cot. So you're going to get cot y equal to what? Cot times what? Cot inverse of what? Of x. This one here they say is just like what? S times what? X inverse. So any number times its inverse gives you what? 1. Or any variable times its inverse gives you 1. So this one here. It's just like what one. So you're going to get what cos y equal to one times what x, and it's the same as cos y equal to what x. So this is it. So here, the idea here is simple. It's simple because from high school, if you have two, okay, we won't go back to the other one. Let. This way you can choose to bring S to the left hand side or send the cot Y to, a, to the right hand side or you can maintain the, maintain the position and differentiate okay but if you differentiate cot you always get what? cosec cosec square Y but because of what? The y we attach it to the s what the y dx equal to what one. Then you try to divide both sides by our minus cosec what square y. So that you can you can get what the y dx to be subject. So you get one over what minus cosec square y. Okay. Uh, so this one is simple. But we are not done. We are not interested in what this this y. We are not interested in this y. We want the y to be x. So what you have to do is you go back to the formula. Sine square y plus cos square y equal to what one. This one for the time. Previous video we did we were dividing both sides by our cos square y. By this one, we divide. Both sides are what? Sine square root y. Sine square root y. Sine square root y. Sine square, sine square. They will cancel this one and this one. They will give you what? One. Okay. But this one is also the same as cos square. Cos y over sine y all square equal to what? 1 over what? sine y all squared. Any number is 1 raised to any number is 1. So you get something like this. So from this side, this whole thing is equal to, this whole thing is equal to cot, cot y, meaning that cot y is equal to what? cos y over what? sine y. Okay, so in place of your, this one, you can put and this whole thing and and this one is also equal to what? Cosec square root y. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So it, it means that here, in place of this one, you can put in what? Cot y. So we are going to get 1 plus what? Cot, cot y all square equal to this whole thing can put in cosec so you're going to get cosec y all, all square which is the same as what 1 plus what cot square y equal to cosec square what y okay so let's come back to the question this one, we have cosec minus cosec here. So this one can do it like this. So in place of what? Minus cosec what? Square y. You can put in what? This whole thing. 1 plus 
fourth square root y. So we already get dy dx equal to 1 over minus 1 plus what? Quart square y. That is what we get. So here, it's also the same as 1 over minus 1 plus quart y all squared. But what is your quart y? Quart y here. That is your quart y. Your quart y is equal to x. So in place of what quart y, you just put in x. So you will get 1 over minus 1 plus x squared. So here, you can also do creativity for this one. Let me bring it here. We get dy dx, which is equal to what? 1 over what? Minus 1 plus what? x squared. This will be multiplied by what? Minus 1 over what? Minus 1. If we do so, this whole thing, this one will multiply this and it will be positive. This one will be negative. So you will get 1 over what? 1 plus what? This. And tan inverse. Tan inverse. The answer for the tan inverse, if you negate it, you get what the cot inverse. And this is what? This is our final answer for what? The cot inverse. Cot inverse of what? So this is the differentiation for the court inverse. First derivative. Thank you.